Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I am back with another video about the new stuff we got with Lightfall. So this video is about the new Hunter Exotic. Do not ask me to uh, read this because I cannot. I will only read the second word, Facade or Facade, Facade. It's the new Exotic. You get it by completing the Legendary Campaign on your Hunter. You get to choose between this one and between another Exotic Boots that will give you a reload bonus to you and your fire team. So this one is for strength. So I, I picked this one and I did some testing on it. That's why I'm making this video. The exotic perk here is Acrobat's Focus. You will gain Woven Mail when activating your grapple i'll explain this in a second so you have to be on grapple nade you use them you grapple when you grapple you get a woven mail a damage resist for non-precision damage so melee damage and headshot crit damage bypasses this woven mail damage resist you are only protected against body shot damage aka no precision damage so you are protected in PvP against people that you don't need protection from because they cannot land crates. And also from apes, which is very important. So with Woven Mail active, it is a 25% damage resistance in PvP. And we don't know the value in PvE yet. Or I just don't know the value yet. You can uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I think the Woven Mail damage resist will be helpful more in PvE. Because there is a lot of area of effect damage. That is uh, a lot of body shot damage. Because adds suck. They cannot hit headshots most of the time. So it should be more effective in PvE in my opinion. So the second part of uh, the exotic description from the exotic perk. Increased flinch resistance while Woven Mail is active. So you grapple. You get woven mail and you also get a flinch resistance you will see on the left side of your screen stat boost that's anti-flinch so people here are questioning how much anti-flinch uh, is this actually and let me tell you it's not crazy for two reasons uh, reason number one you only get the anti-flinch buff for 10 seconds on grapple so you have to wait for a full grenade to come back even if you have two grenades on Hunter with this specific aspect. Uh, even if you will leave your grapple point after you grapple once, or maybe you can grapple to your friend's uh, grapple point. So you either have to camp near a grapple point from one of your Hunter teammates, or use your own grenade charge that has like a good enough cooldown. It's like 10 seconds every grenade charge, or you have to camp near a grapple point. So this is the first weakness of this anti-flinch uh, buff. I have done some testing in a private match with a friend with a no distractions Galu. 100 resil, I have 5 right now, but we had 10 in the testing. And flinching arc aim for the Galu, because Galu is arc. And we still got, uh, like, flinched. You are getting some anti-flinch, but it's not that crazy that it breaks the crucible. So, the anti-flinch is balanced and, like, strand in PvP. I will let you guys watch the clip uh, of our testing in a private match. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video because it does help me a lot with the algorithm. And it helps me uh, to keep going making videos like this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this new exotic. So, uh, see you on my next one. Peace. Wait. Okay, shoot me. Yeah, if it, it's not crazy, it's fair. It's like very fair. Like 100 resilience. I have like 57 stability on this Galu. Stability master rock, no distraction proc, and uh, woven mail thingy active. Yeah, it's very fair. The anti flinch is not crazy. Like it's uh, it's not very crazy. And uh, I don't think it's worth it because you only get like 10 seconds of damage resist. And you have to wait for like the whole grenade cooldown. That's 1 minute 15. And people still can like headshot you anyway. Like especially with SMGs. You, you die fast anyway.